Okay guys, back again. Uh, this video we're going to be talking about the <clears throat> trigger frame flag for the replay system. So, um, <clears throat> I'll get to a gen general overview of the flag in a second. Uh, but let's go back to the debug menu. And let's go back to that flag we were talking about earlier. Um, training codes, in-game toggles save states um, <clears throat> uh, so this one is loop re replay holds during hit lag let's turn that off so it was on before uh, but now I'm kinda gonna be I guess I'm, I'm gonna be in control of a character during a hit lag uh, replay or, you know, during a replay during replay during hit lag so I want to turn this off you know, because I want full control over it. I don't want it to, you know, be holding inputs and stuff during the leg. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, let's start a match for this example. Let's just do Falcon versus uh, <clears throat> Fox. And let's go to FD. All right. Uh, so for this replay, I want to... Um, you know, I got Falcon into a position that I want him in, um, and then I need to get Fox um, into where I want Fox to be, and I'm going to make, you know, I'm going to record a replay for Fox. So, uh, player one, um, you know, and I just develop, pause the game. <clears throat> so, beat head down, bring up the menu. Uh, player one, I don't want to control Falcon anymore. Oops. I don't want to control Falcon anymore, so we'll make him controlled by player two. Now, <clears throat> player three, I want to control player three, uh, Fox. So let's turn him to controlled by me, human. Okay, so now I am controlling Fox. All right. So we got Fox. Uh, <clears throat> you know, right now, Fox is where I want him to be. Falcon is where I want him to be. Let's start a, re <clears throat> start a replay. Um, gonna develop, pause it, D-pad down to load up the menu. Gonna set the replay state for Fox Player Three to recording. And since I'm starting a recording, I save state major. Okay. Um, and then right now, uh, my recording for Fox is simply going to be to hold shield. So I'm gonna I'm gonna um, do A and D pad down, which is now the 20xx toggle for uh, infinite shields. A and D pad down. Okay, infinite shields is on. So <clears throat> I'm recording for Fox. So I'm just gonna hold L and press start to unfreeze, and just hold L for you know, 154 frames. Okay, good. So we're gonna make that. Uh, let's play it back real quick. Um, so set him to playback <clears throat> and uh, hit D-pad left to load state and uh, you know Fox hold shield. Um, now you know he's in that point where I am you know in control of him um, because he's in playback, but it's past the end of his replay. So yeah. <clears throat> so you know that's fine. D-pad left to um, load state. Okay, D-pad left. So we're back at the beginning of the replay. Um, <clears throat> let's advance a couple frames. So Fox is going to put up his shield. Um, I'm going to hit Y and D-pad down to bring up the action state display. Okay. I'm going to wait till Fox is in guard. Okay, so Fox is in guard, just kind of the neutral shield position. I am going to hit D-pad down and go back to Falcon. I want Falcon, I want to control Falcon now. And I, I simply want to um, put a hitbox out on Fox. So I'm going to hit A to throw out a jab. So Falcon has started the jab. <clears throat> And that's good enough. I don't need to control Falcon anymore. He's doing what I want. So I'm going to have him be controlled by player two. Okay. 
So let's go back to player three, Fox. So let's talk about the trigger uh, frame <clears throat> flag for a second. What the trigger is, is it's a trigger on the action state and the frame number. Um, the action state and frame number, while you were saving a replay, the action state and frame number is saved every frame of that replay. So, when you are playing back a replay and you have the the action state trigger flag on and it sees that it's on when it's trying to play back this frame it says hey is this character that's you know in playback is this character's action state is their current action state and frame number equal to the action state and frame number that was saved for this frame of the replay. And if it's not equal to, then it doesn't continue with the replay. And it's basically like the random hold last at that point. It like, you know, basically goes back a frame and uses the inputs from the last frame. So your replay only continues in playback if the current action state and frame number match what was saved for that frame. So, <clears throat> right now when I was when I made my recording for Fox and I was saving, I was just saving him while he was holding shield the entire time. Um, but I'm interested in setting a trigger based on shield stun, which is going to be coming up. You know, because Falcon is doing a jab now. So, what that means is I need to go back into saving for Fox so that the shield stun action state and frame gets saved. And then once it's saved, I can set triggers on it. So, um, you know, I'm no longer controlling Falcon. Let's go back to Fox. Instead of playback, let's set him to recording now. So I'm, you know, overwriting my recording my old recording starting on, you know, frame 9. So, <clears throat> with Fox, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm recording again. I'm just going to hold L. So I'm going to continue shielding, which is basically what my old replay was doing, but um, I'm going to hold L. And a couple frames later, Falcon's jab hits me. And I'm in guard set off now. So, I'm going to advance one more frame, and since I'm saving, this frame that was just saved saw the guard set off and the frame zero. So, I want to use that as a trigger. I'm going to turn the trigger flag on. So, if I was... So if I was to load state for Fox right now, back to frame zero, he would hold shield infinitely until he saw a guard set off in frame zero. And then the replay would continue on. Which at this point, there would be nothing else to continue on with because I haven't recorded anything else. But, but, so that, that's why I'm setting trigger on. Um, because in this example... I am basically, uh, this scenario, I'm basically doing, I'm doing like an out of shield uh, option. Like programming sort of like an advanced out of shield string of attacks. Or string of inputs. Okay, so I set the trigger on for guard set off frame zero. I'm going to continue holding out. So, <clears throat> shield stun is variable based on the, um, you know, basically like the, based on the attack you got hit by, um, <clears throat> you know, and it's knockback properties and whatever. 
And basically, your shield stun animation is X on 